So which of the following yields, which of the following yields is the highest for a bond trading at a discount? So we're getting into kind of chapter two here, uh, understanding a little bit about bond yields. And, and I like this question because I'm going to use it after I give people a minute or two, use it to talk about what all these things are. People another uh, 30 seconds or so. So the best answer, and we're going to talk about why, is yield to call. Yield to call, generally the highest yield for a discount bond. And, and let's just talk about all of these for a second. Definitely want to be familiar with all of these yields. So I'm just going to chat to you guys some, some information. So as you think about nominal yield, nominal yield is the fixed annual interest, fixed annual interest. So what I mean by that, let's say you have a, a bond that pays 9% interest. By the way, 9% is 9% of par, par value being $1,000 per bond. That means it pays 9% of 1,000 or $90 a year. That is your nominal yield. It is fixed over the life of the bond, That's fixed 9%. You also have current yield. And current yield, you might have to calculate on the exam. Very common question that comes up. Does anyone know the formula for current yield? Feel free to, to use the question pane in chat me if you know the formula. Nice job, Lisa. Nice job, Arden. Awesome. So current yield, annual interest divided by the market price of the bond. Annual interest divided by the market price of the bond. So let's say you have your annual interest, which is $90. And let's say we have a discount bond, like in this question. Well, let's say our bond is worth $900. So if you take $90 of annual interest divided by a market price of $900, just making up that number, you get a yield somewhere above 9%. So 90 over 900 would actually be a current yield of 10%. So you're going to see here the pattern, the yields are going to get higher. For yield to maturity and yield to call, you won't have to calculate on the exam. But yield to maturity reflects the yield that is earned if a bond is held until maturity. I type that in, but let me, let me explain that a little bit further. So let's say you buy a bond today for $900. So buy bond for $900 that matures in 10 years. Just chat at you, everyone, so you can kind of follow along here. Well, in this case, in this case, when the bond matures in 10 years, how much money does the investor get? How much principal does an investor receive back at maturity? How much principal does an investor receive back at maturity? They receive back $1,000, right? You always get back your par of 1000 so in this case, you're paying 900 to buy the bond, but in 10 years, you're going to get back 1000 So over the next 10 years, effectively, you're going to make 100 extra dollars. You pay 900 you get back 1000 at maturity. And basically, basically, yield to maturity reflects that extra $100 that you're getting each year excuse me, that you're getting over the next 10 years, excuse me. And because of that, it reflects not only the coupon, but also this extra $100 you're going to make over the next 10 years, it's going to push your yield higher. For yield to call, yield to call, yield that is earned if bond is called away by the issuer prior to maturity. So, what I mean by that is let's say you have the same 10-year bond at 900 
So it matures in 10 years, but the issuer buys back the bond after year five. Well, thinking about it for a second, instead of having to wait the full 10 years to get back our principal, in this yield to call scenario, rather than waiting 10 years, we're gonna get our money back after year five. So we're gonna make that same $100, but rather than stretching that $100 over 10 years, we're stretching that, we're, we're making that same $100 over five years. Put differently, that $100 game is accelerated over a fewer number of years. We're getting our money back more quickly. And for that reason, for a discount bond, yield to call is the greatest because it reflects that you get back that additional juice the most quickly. You might see a question on the exam like this about the different yields. You will absolutely see questions on the exam about nominal yield, current yield, you know, current yield calculation kind of, kind of right for the exam. Uh, definitely important.